What's up, YouTube? This is Perfect Insanity. Welcome back to this Three Heart Reverse Challenge, Majora's Mask. We will be going to the Great Bay Temple at this part and getting the Stray Fairies in that as well and getting, you know, the reduced damage heart thingy. Of course, we always like to slow down time. And I don't think we need to do anything, we can just go straight to the temple. Gonna grab a fairy because you might need it later for the boss. I would have to say, in my opinion, I think Yorg is probably the hardest boss in any Zelda game just because he's completely random when I fight him. I, he honestly pisses me off sometimes. The easy methods to kill him usually never work for me for some reason. This song is kind of annoying to remember. I didn't grab Deku Stacks before we went up here, or, or Deku Stacks, whatever. But since you know we got the fire arrows early, we can just use that for this part. I'm gonna go look for our fairy real quick. I'm 
just gonna say ahead of time, you will notice some video cuts. Probably like three. Or two, I can't remember. But basically, after I beat this temple, when I was fighting the boss, I actually pulled on the cord on the 64, so it froze the game. And then, when I beat him this, the, I had to rebeat the entire temple, when I beat him again, uh, I accidentally picked up the heart container, so I had to rebeat the temple again, so I beat the temple like three times in a row. So you'll notice video cuts. Fire us and get these four torches real quick. So we get a stray fairy, our first one. Freaking camera is always weird. Cutscenes, it's kind of why I flew in the water just now. Second straight area. Face three, straight fairy. I believe this is the compass, maybe the map. Oh, my God. 
Seventh one. Not from that angle, I won't. Stop aiming at them. There you go. Boss, we went to the past though. Oh, my God. 
we finally have the ice arrows, we can do pretty much everything all of the temple. I love how much this game innovated the use of light or, or ice arrows. Actually freeze water and you block on it, it's pretty cool. There should be more Zelda games like that. They make the arrows actually kind of important, not just, you know, for the one time you get them. And now you just can get the, uh, the other arrows inside of their time. There's no real purpose of them. The only one that actually did something was light arrows, but that was just for the boss, really. Not it. Oh! <laughs> 
kill this frog. That's good. Get over here, son of a bitch. This weird, uh, I don't know what that's going to be. I can't think of the name of that thing right now. Or whatever it's making the water spin. You gotta reverse that. But first, let's go ahead and get this green pipe going. Trey Ferry, I don't know what Nintendo is thinking because unless you know the actual jump slash trick, I don't think it's possible to actually get the Trey Ferry unless you know that. Because you can't really move in the air after getting off your hook shot. So look at that. You barely even make it. I didn't make it honestly that first time, so. Unless there's some other way to get up here I, that I don't know of, but. What were they thinking? Ow! I'll try to do the side jump slash and get on this map and use my ice arrows, but it's kind of hard to do. That's a one factor because you grab on the edge. I'm 
gonna roll off of that, but okay. Ah! You son of a bitch. Get away from me, you fucking fish. I think it's funny on Twilight Princess you can actually fish those out of the water to put them you will It won't count as a fishing or a fishing drone, but I just thought that was pretty funny. switch over here so we can reverse it. Maybe we should go back up there and go to the other two rooms in the temple. Or two areas. thing actually is completely random when you freeze the water. It will keep spinning and always be able to do it too. See? Striker two is sitting right here. Yeah. Only 
four more fairies and we'll be good. that are hard, easily, easily missable. forget it's pointless actually to this one first. Because we need it later to get back up. Let's see if this wall isn't big enough for the gainer trick. Never really tried it right here. Actually, go back down there and re freezing that thing and going back up. You can just Zora jump off of his chest and get up there. Fairies are over here. 
damage. My favorite power up in no Ocarina Time and this game. I just love the way the white hearts look on it. On the heart containers. Okay, time to fight this annoying boss. Personally, I'd recommend more than one fairy if you're not very good at fighting this. Or more than two, I mean. I don't know, this boss just seems random. Sometimes I won't die, sometimes I will die. So I don't want to get touched on this thing. That was one of the video cuts I was talking about. right there, well, didn't die, but used the fairy just because I ran into him. I hate how this boss can sometimes never get hit out of nowhere just because when he's like in eating, when he's like locked on to trying to eat, you cannot this is never let me before. Oh, last fairy.
That was the second video cut. I think that's the only ones, yeah. Because I accidentally picked up the stupid heart. After I already had to redo the entire temple, I was like, God. But I got it done. Turn the fairies to the rightful place, pick the power up, and we'll be done with this part. I'm almost caught up on that tree. That's the end of this part. Make sure to comment, rate, subscribe, like for more Zelda vids and future videos. Let's plays or whatever. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time. <laughs>